Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and thank you so much for being here with me I'm in a little mood today if you couldn't tell I tried a bunch of new makeup today And I feel like it turned out pretty well Sometimes I just try it off camera just to get my initial thoughts before I come and talk to you guys about certain things Just so that I'm not giving you like an insane first impression where I don't have my thoughts together, I don't know. I just never want anyone to buy anything off of my first impression and then later I don't like it. But I'll tell you, I used two products that I'm very intrigued with. The base I think looks so good and it is this Prime Skin by G Beauty. Um, I have no idea, I don't even know if I've tried this brand before, but it's a tinted primer and I think it looks stunning. And I gotta say, the star of the show was definitely this new Shape Tape Radiant from Tarte. I am loving this, you guys. It reminds me so much of the Hydro Sealer. We might just have to do a whole video on like me comparing the Hydro Sealer to different things, but that might be my favorite concealer for the summer over the Glowish one. So I'll keep you updated on that. I'll probably up upload a short on the Shape Tape Radiant soon. I'm also testing out some more Oleo, Oleo e Oso products. I have on this blush today and um, I, spoiler alert, am loving it. I just talked about one of these in a short recently. So anyways, got a lot of fun, fresh, new summery stuff coming your way soon. I'll probably do like a little summery get ready with me. But today's video is actually a empties. I love empties videos. If you know my channel, it's a thing that I do all the time. I try and do them quarterly and now I'm going to do them more often because I feel like my empties videos are always so stacked like I have so many things to talk about that I want to share my thoughts with you on that I end up either they run really long or I feel like I'm trying to rush through it so I'm gonna try and go through them more often I know that people really like empties videos and I find as a beauty creator who gets a lot of PR and also buys a lot of products for herself that these are the products that I always tend to either repurchase or if I'm using it up all the way, it really means something um, to someone like me who has a large collection. So I think it's always fun to see the products that people are using literally into the last drop. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. We have a lot of skincare, some body care, a few makeup items and hair care as well. So if that is something you are interested in, please stick around, don't forget to subscribe. We talk about skincare, makeup, body care, hauls, fashion. I was thinking about starting to do my monthly Newly try-ons. Like I rent clothes every month from Newly. I'm looking at my bag of them right now and I just thought it could be fun for us to try them on together. So let me know if you're interested in that down below and let's hop into it. Okay, I'm just gonna pull them out one by one. I usually try and put them in some kind of order but we're not doing that today because we're absolutely crazy. This is a winner, winner chicken dinner. This is the Naturium The Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. I think I've already had a couple of these in empties in the past. This product is so freaking good. This is one of my favorite body washes, especially if you are someone who has dry skin, irritated skin, sensitive skin. This includes um, a ton of really amazing ingredients to help with dry and flaky skin. And one of my favorite things about Naturium is that you can find all of the ingredients and what they do on the back of the bottle and why they work for your skin. So you can see the lather, the format, um, the skincare technology, so in this there's linoleic rich oil blends, plant drive squalene, and upcycled apple extract, and it tells you what each of those things does for your skin. I love the packaging, I love Naturium, they do such a great job of making good body washes. I also really like their salicylic acid body wash. This one is my definite number one favorite though, along with their body cream that goes with this. However, we used up something else this time. If you are a person who doesn't really want like a super fragrant body wash, I suggest this one. I'm currently using the Gummy Bear Flavor Native Body Wash and I love it because I just really like the scent of the gummy bears. But if once I go through that one, I will repurchase this and use it again. My husband also really liked this one. Speaking of body lotions, we... Ah! We went through a few different kinds this last couple months. Oh God, everything in here is so disgusting. <laughs> it's just like, it's covered in hair. Gross. Wow, I went through four, oh, never mind, three. 
three body lotions. One of them is a body wash, so we'll start with that. Another one that's great for eczema prone skin or sensitive skin or irritated skin or if you have a rash, which I believe I used this the last time my skin was super irritated and used it up, is the Lipicar Wash AP Plus from La Roche Posay. This is listed as a gentle foaming moisturizing wash, gently cleanse body and face without stripping the skin. So I did use this on my face and my body. I just kept it in the shower, used it as both. I am a huge fan of La Roche Roche-Posay's body washes and face washes. Their face washes are some of my favorite and have won my favorites I think the past two years in my end of year roundups for uh, facial washes including their gentle and their foaming. This year we might have a couple different winners than that but these are stunningly amazing. Uh, the Gentle Cleanser is by far my favorite gentle cleanser that exists on the market. This one is very similar. It's a little bit thicker because it can be used on the body. And when I was dealing with my body rash, this is what I used every single time. It does cleanse the skin, but it doesn't really soap up like you want a body uh, wash to soap up. So just keep that in mind. It's more of like a light lather, but this is approved by the National Eczema Association. So if that is you, this is always a great choice. And with it being 13 ounces, it will take you a little while to go through it. It's great for your body and your face. Awesome drugstore option. I found two more cleansers. Jeez, I found two more cleansers. I'm crazy. So let's talk about those and then we'll go into body lotion. Both of these are facial cleansers for different purposes. And these are the two that my husband and I had been using in the shower the most. One is a exfoliating and one is a regular. So this is new from Glow Recipe. This is the Avocado Ceramide Moisture Barrier Cleanser. This is so freaking good. It has a really nice like light lathery gel type feel to it. It really cleanses the skin. It smells slightly of like their avocado scent if you've tried any of their other avocado products. My husband loves this stuff. We already have a second one that he's using. The only problem I have with this is the packaging. I wish this was in a pump so badly because this cap, once you open it, it just comes out. Like it's so thick and juicy that it just, it's doing it right now. It just falls out of the product and it sucks because you really don't want to like miss any of it because it's very good. And I felt like I ended up wasting a lot of product because of the packaging and component alone, which was disappointing and why we ended up going through it so quickly. I felt like I didn't need to use that much to get a good finish on the skin, but I had to use a lot because it was just coming out and there was no way to put it back in. So I do want to repurchase this, but I would probably put it in a different packaging. Like I would buy something off Amazon so that I'm not wasting so much product. And the other cleanser is one I already have a backup of in my um, shower right now. It's one of my favorite summertime cleansers and that is the Hero Cosmetics Clear Collective Exfoliate jelly cleanser. I love everything from the Clear Collective line that Hero Cosmetics does. Truly everything. I also am going through their toner from this line at the moment. The moisturizer is really nice and thick and juicy. The cleanser is no exception. This is a really nice jelly type of cleanser that has like small, small little exfoliating oil capsules in it. Um, this is, I'm trying to think of if it's AHAs. Yeah. AHAs are included in this, so it is a little bit of a chemical exfoliation to it, but it's really plumping. It really feels really nice on the skin and helps, I don't know, it feels like if I use my first cleanse to get off my makeup, this feels like it's really getting in there to clean my skin without stripping it of its natural oils, which I can really appreciate. Anytime I work out, I use this on my face. Anytime I'm feeling sweaty or like I'm having irritation or like general, like, my pores are clogged, I'll use this. And I just think it does a really great job of cleansing the skin while also just clarifying it just slightly. It's a really cool texture too and very inexpensive because it is Hero Cosmetics and they know what they're doing. All right, now we can get into some of these body moisturizers. These are my lifeblood vibes. I will say I have been trying new things here and there. Right now I'm going through an Aveeno moisturizer on my body. So there are certain brands that I know will work for me and I tend to just kind of rotate through those. One of them being the, this is disgusting. I don't even want to show you this bottle. It's so covered in oil and goo. The Bio Oil Body Lotion. <clears throat> this looks disgusting. I'm so sorry. That is actually like a emulsion. It's like a body emulsion. It's almost like an ampule for your body. It's a mixture of like a lotiony consistency and like an oil consistency and a serum consistency. Super lightweight, but really packs a punch on the skin and leaves your skin feeling 
incredibly hydrated. Bio oil is kind of known by people who are pregnant because it is great for um, your belly or any stretch marks that you may have. But I feel like the body lotion is kind of underrated and it's really, really, really good. I've already gone through two of these um, and I'm currently going through something else. But once I'm done, I could totally see myself pulling this back out especially for the summer because it is lightweight but again it really packs a punch on the skin and leaves an insane glowy finish it is another one of those products that i feel like i have a little bit of issue with the packaging because it just like falls out of it and you can't really control how much product ends up leaving the bottle so hard to say but i really do like it and i could see myself buying that again next up is my classic cerave moisturizing cream this is my favorite moisturizing cream for the body. It's won the award like every year the past year. I think the Naturium Body Lotion won last year for me. This stuff is amazing. It's great for a hand cream. It's great for a body cream. It's great for a facial cream. If you have eczema, if you have dry skin, if you have sensitive skin, if you have acne prone skin, if you have anything, your skin will use this and like this. I'm telling you. It is amazing on the body and it's something that has continued to keep my eczema at bay. I like to apply it on damp skin and I feel like it just locks everything in and it's also something that I end up using in the winter on my face because it's just such a classic good moisturizer. I very much prefer the moisturizing cream over the moisturizing lotion from CeraVe. Has a thicker consistency. This is 1.8 ounces. It's my travel size one. I always keep one of these in my travel bag because I feel like body lotion is usually forgotten in your travel bag and with that one like it's amazing. I will use it up in like two uses because my body gets so dry. So I like to always have them with me. So this lotion actually was used as a hand lotion for me and my husband. We just started getting this past year into like our nail routine before bed. As you can see, my nails are completely naked right now. I'm giving them a little bit of a break and I cut them down super short, letting them breathe. Um, I have a little bit of like hydrating serum on them, things like that. But before bed, we'll use our cuticle oil and then we will use the necessaire body lotion as a hand lotion on top and this is like the perfect hand lotion i'm very particular about hand lotions i don't like a hand lotion that is super greasy i don't like a really fragrant hand lotion it needs to be like kind of middle of the road sink into the skin but also leave a nice hydrated finish so this checks all those boxes for me we also like to use it on our feet i think this would be great on the full body because it is a nice thick cream it is a little bit expensive expensive though so that's why we were using it sparingly on our hands and feet super super nice I really like it I love the bottle I think it's aesthetic and if you are a person who likes to have like a hand cream out either in your house in your bathroom on your vanity on in your guest bedroom Necessaire makes really great just kind of like standard looking cool products and I also use their Necessaire shampoo and conditioner in my guest bathroom because I feel like it's a good middle of the road shampoo and conditioner that a lot of people like and um, it's just easy to use and looks good. So that's how I feel about Necessaire. Also, I'm using their serum deodorant right now and really liking it, but this is an amazing hand cream. It also comes in a mini and I say grab it because we all need a good hand cream. Okay, Reed is not here to mention these and they are just absolutely covered in goo. So I'm just gonna tell you about them and that is the, ah, ah. The Hero Four Shield SPF, the green one, the Super Light Sunscreen SPF 30, skinny legends husband uses these to absolute death he has minis in his travel bags he has minis in his golf bag this is his absolute favorite sunscreen he uses it as a sunscreen and a moisturizer i prefer their new one uh that is in the orange bottle over this one however these are amazing they're great for oily skin and amazing in the summer if you have redness they're great pretty inexpensive. Um, you will go through it pretty quickly, especially if you have a big face like my husband does, but they're inexpensive and um, they're a great way to try and get uh, someone in your life who's not into wearing sunscreen to try sunscreen because it feels like nothing on the face and it is literally super light, hence the name. So thank you, Reed. Another sunscreen that was used up this time around was actually a body sunscreen. It got really warm in Nashville very early this year. Like in February and March, it was in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So we were going outside a lot and I was using up the Vacation Classic Spray SPF 30. This is a great spray sunscreen. I love spray sunscreens and I've always loved them. I stopped using them as much recently after the whole, um, the, the thing with the sprays and how there was like a bad chemical inside of it but this one was not on the list hence me using it up and this smells like 
childhood. This smells like classic sunscreen. If you've ever tried anything from vacation, most of their stuff has that same very classic scent. It's supposed to remind you of like family vacations, all of that. It gives you that very strong nostalgia when you use these products. They also have a perfume if you really like that, as well as different candle scents, lip scents. It's just a really nice coconutty nostalgic scent and that worked really well and kept me from getting sunburn while we were outside. All right, getting into some other skincare. This was a moisturizer I used up this winter that I will definitely repurchase once winter or colder weather comes back around this year. And that is the Milk Vegan Moisturizer. This is also disgusting, I apologize. This is a beautiful, really thick moisturizer. I literally used it to the last freaking drop. This stuff is awesome. It just feels super luxurious on the skin. And something that I always mentioned about it was that I felt it was like in between a lotion and a slugging balm. It almost felt like this infusion of a lightweight lotion and an aquaphor product as if someone mixed it up and put it into this jar it's really really thick and feels so good on the skin it's like this first layer absorbs and then this second layer sits on top and keeps it occluded in your skin it's really unique and typically i don't like skincare launches from makeup brands but i feel like milk did a really good job with their vegan line. It is expensive, but totally worth it and keeps you from having to use multiple things in your skin because it's so hydrating and inclusive. Okay, three hydrating serums go absolutely order. I'm addicted to a hydrating serum. I love it. It's my favorite step in my routine after I get out of the shower, after I've washed my face, putting on a really nice hydrating lightweight moisturizing serum that just sinks into your skin. It's my favorite thing and that's what I think gives that supple, plump, look to your skin and these three are incredible this is a uh, travel size that i already have a backup of in my travel bag from peach and lily of the glass skin refining serum i only wish that this was refillable instead of just like a one-off pump because one I have to keep buying this, but two, I have no idea how much is in here, which kind of stinks because when I emptied this, it was pretty much empty completely and I had no serum on my trip, which kind of sucked. So keep that in mind. However, the product inside is well worth your money and your time. It is one of my favorite hydrating serums, glass skin in a bottle, it's stunning. It's a niacinamide-based serum, but also a lot of hyaluronic acid and plumping ingredients, and then you just top it off with a moisturizer. In a similar vein, another hydrating serum that I used up was the Biosense Squalene in Copper Peptide. This one lasted me forever. This is instant hydration with hyaluronic acid as well as copper peptides and squalene. Biosense is like their whole thing is using um, squalene in their products, which is a great hydrating, nourishing, moisturizing ingredient. And this one is no exception. Uh, and copper peptides are also an amazing ingredient to have in your skincare. So I really liked this for not only being just a hydrating serum, but adding some other cool ingredients into this to help plump the skin, help with fine lines, help with a little bit of hyperpigmentation. My skin absolutely drank this up and I would totally buy this again, but I have a lot of hydrating serums that I still haven't opened yet that I will be opening and using before I repurchase that one. However, I highly recommend it because it is very, very good and did not irritate my skin at all. Another one. Oh my God, I found another one. Jeez, can you tell what my favorite kind of product is? Okay, so this is, I would consider these next two to be more of a moisturizing serum than a hydrating serum. They're both hydrating. Those are hydrating like water-based serums and these have a little bit more body yaddy yaddy to them, if that makes sense. So this one, I think an award in last year's skincare, this is the Dream Oasis Serum from Summer Fridays. This is like a lightweight moisturizer in a tub, basically the same as this one, which we're gonna talk about. This is so, so, so good. The only thing I don't like about it is I go through it so fast. This is one fluid ounce and it takes me like a month or less to go through this product, which really stinks because I love it so, so, so much. Right now I'm using the Outset Serum in place of this to hydrate my skin, but I will totally be opening my backup of this one once that one is done. Again, it is on the pricier side, but Summer Fridays has amazing skincare and makeup, and I just honestly love most of the things that they make, which is another one uh, for this brand, Stradia. Stradia Skin, it has, they just know what they're doing. They know what they're doing, they know how to create products for sensitive skin, and they understand the skin barrier so well. And this is the liquid gold. You can't see it because it's completely empty, but it's a usually a yellow um, product, and it is a lightweight skin strengthening moisturizer 
I think of this as a moisturizing serum. My husband in the summer will use it as a moisturizer. He's also obsessed with Stradia and loves to use this. It is the nicest serum for if you have an impaired skin barrier, if you're on tretinoin, if you're dealing with skin issues, dryness, rashes, if you can't tell that's kind of my specialty. This will do you so, so, so well. Also, if you're dealing with retinoid scaries, if you're just starting retinoids and you're feeling like your skin is freaking out, try this, help build up your skin barrier, you will love it. All right, our last skincare product today is one that took me forever to finish and is one of my favorite skincare products of all time. And that is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. I just have a really bad feeling that this is gonna get discontinued and I don't know why. I really hope it doesn't, but I just never hear anyone talking about it. This is a clay mask. It's like a five minute mask. And this is my acne care. Essentially, this is what I use to keep my acne at bay, to keep my pores clear, to keep my skin looking fresh. And it has a really cool consistency to it. It's kind of like a whipped clay, which doesn't fully dry down because it's infused with hyaluronic acid. It has a little bit of a smell. To me, it smells like bananas. It supposedly smells like watermelons. I don't believe it. But this does such a good job of clearing out your skin. And if you're a person who can't really handle overnight exfoliation, which I can sometimes, like I love the Paula's Choice 2% BHA, but I can get a similar effect on the skin by using something like this, so I usually do. In its place, I've been using the uh, In Beauty Project 7-Minute Mask and the Fenty Skin Mask, and I like them both, do not get me wrong, and I'm gonna use them up, but I miss this. I really miss this. I love the way that it makes my skin feel. It has slight um, physical exfoliation as well, and I wanna buy this again because again, I just have this feeling that it's gonna get discontinued because there are other products from Glow Recipe that like shine brighter, but that one is a sleeper. It is so freaking good. All right, let's talk about some lip products. This is like our transition to some of the makeup empties that we're dealing with here. This is something I never really talked about because uh, I just feel kind of okay about it. And at this point, it is kind of dried out. And that is the Fourth Ray Beauty Lip Scrub. This is a coconut lip scrub. Fourth Ray is um, ColourPop's skincare brand, and this is a lip scrub in a coconut scent. I think it worked okay. Um, my favorite lip scrub is from e.l.f., and it is just like in this lipstick bullet, similar to this, but it actually has a lipstick bullet shape rather than just flat, which I find works a little bit better. Right now I'm using one from Ulta Beauty, which works. I do prefer a lip scrub that's in a component like this over one that I have to scoop into. And this one just kind of dried out and flaked off. And when I was using it on my lips, I just felt like it was getting everywhere. So I think it was just kind of like time to let go. But that's okay. Lip scrubs are whatever. You can get them anywhere. Don't feel like you need to spend a lot of money on them. Two lip products that I used up that I love, 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 and will always continue to repurchase one. The other one, TBD, it was a little bit of a splurge. We'll start with that one. This is the YSL Candy Glaze, and this was in the shade O2, which is just the clear shade. This is a really nice, just like clear balm, and I actually used this in the mornings um, after I brushed my teeth and got ready just to feel like I was using a little bit of an elevated product. It only took me like a month to go through this. They're pretty uh, they're pretty small and they do make them in other shades. I don't really recommend getting that for that reason, but I do recommend getting any and all road peptide lip treatments. Every single empty I have includes one of these. They're so good. And the new passion fruit guava or jelly smell is by far the best one they've made. I have another one right here. Like I have them on me 24 seven, I have them in all my purses. It won my favorite lip product of the year for good reason. It's super thick, it's hydrating, but it also leaves a gorgeous shine on the lips. So I use it during the day and at night. I'm addicted to it. I absolutely love it and I highly, highly recommend it. Three makeup products I went through, they're all related to the eyes and I wouldn't even say I necessarily went through these because a lot of them, it was just their time. One of them is the Victoria Beckham Future Lash. This is one of my favorite, or it was one of my favorite tubing mascaras. I just got a new one of this, so I feel okay about getting rid of this one. It's just, I've had it for way too long. I will say I used it today, my new one, and I noticed it kind of clumping together a little bit, which is not 
my usual vibe. I was a little bit disappointed by that. It could just be because it's brand new, but I used it on this eye and then I used the Cali Ray on this eye and I feel like the Cali Ray looks better. So I don't know. This, this, the Cali Ray might be my number one favorite at the end of the day, but that one was, it was ready to be retired as well as this Patrick Ta brow lamination. I was going to use it today and I looked at the, just watch this. This is one of those products where I feel like if you don't use it, you lose it kind of vibe. Like, it's covered in white goo. Like, I don't really know how I would even get that out of there. I just feel like it's not, it's not good to use anymore. I liked this. I didn't love it. I felt like it, it did give you that lamination effect, but it was just kind of too sticky and gave me the little white balls. And... Nobody likes the little white balls in their eyebrows. I find that I'm just a brow gel girl over a lamination. I've tried to do the lamination thing. My brows are just too, they're too thick. They're too coarse to do what I want them to do. And so I just say, do what you need to do. I'll, I'll put some gel in you and Godspeed to us both. Godspeed to us both. The last product that I already have a backup of, of course, is my Glossier Brow Flick in the shade Brown. This is a super thin, angled eyebrow pen that is great to create hair like strokes on your eyebrows especially if you have sparse eyebrows and i have a backup of this one i use it all the time it is great for your eyebrows especially if you are someone who wants a really natural look to the eyebrows it takes a little bit of getting used to but once you get the hang of it there is a reason why it is such a cult following as well as their boy brow which i love um but i do think that the brow flick is something special and they were one of the first to be doing it I've been talking a lot, a lot, and we're on our last product, and it is the only hair product, strangely, in this empties. Usually I have more hair products. This is the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Advanced Clean Dry Shampoo. This is probably going to win favorite dry shampoo of the year for me. I have been using this almost exclusively this year. I already have another one in my drawer. Such a good job of cleaning the hair, and literally it says actually cleans and softens the hair and adds shine. Something about this specific advanced clean formula is my favorite for days where I want my hair to be clean enough for me to brush, style, straighten, whatever it is I want to do. And then I may use a different kind if I want to add volume or texture or grit to the hair. But if you're looking for just straight up clean hair, it's this. I'm actually working with them on this campaign because they're having a friends and family sale come up. My hair is incredibly greasy. In fact, so greasy this morning that my business partner from Beeble thought that my hair was wet. So I'm gonna use this after this and make a video and show you guys how well this actually cleans. I go through one of these like once a month and I just freaking love them. They know what they're doing. Those were the empties and that is why we're gonna be doing these more often because mommy can talk. Mommy don't know bum bum bow. Mommy talks too much and she needs help and I need help. So let me know down below what's something you've recently emptied and you're proud of or something you emptied and you were like, actually I could go ahead and be living without this. I'm really curious uh, to see. I always want to see what other people empty and what they use all the way up. And you know, most of these things are things I've talked about before, but I am trying my hardest to really, really go through the things that are currently in my rotation. And I feel like I'm doing a good job of it. So we will have more empties for you soon. And I will see you guys in the next video very soon. Bye.